For myself, I'll go 35 million. <laughs> With the point in the middle. <laughs> Scalzi, we'll start with you. Is there a moment from your playing career where you think, thank God VAR hadn't been invented and part of the game? Thank God it wasn't there, essentially. So yeah, you scored I, I think I scored a goal at Wembley for, um, for England against Poland that could have been on ball, yeah. <laughs> but, but apart from that, yeah, no, it could have been. I think a bit chesty, a bit army, <laughs> do you know what I mean, Phil? It could have been. Transfer fees are incredible right now. How much would each of you have been worth in the transfer market today? For myself, I'll go 35 million. <laughs> With the point in the middle. <laughs> With a decimal point in the middle, yeah, 3.5 million. It's too hard to oh, say, what's, what's you the price of 60 million now, isn't it? We'd, we'd be 60 million. <laughs> Wamba Saka, Luke. Yeah, he's better uh, than you, though. Cancelo. They're better than you two, though, aren't they? Together, I mean. <laughs> Together. It's a package deal, two for one. <laughs> Butty? I wouldn't have a clue. I don't know. I'd say 35, 40 million. I'd say more. The butter? Yeah. 40, maybe? 50 or something. Ogba, 89. 90 million, Scully? Yeah, Scully, you'd be 90 million, I think. <laughs> I'm, I'm giving him 90. I don't think he's quite the 100 mark. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Too much risk, you know, settling into the new place that you'd be going. I wouldn't go, would he? Butty, which player in the Premier League who plays in your position do you admire the most? Now. Now. Give you some options. Kante? Yeah. Fernandino, Gundogan? Silver. Nicky just were a holding midfield player though. Nicky, you had goals, but everything, didn't you, Nick? I think box Kante, to box, think, weren't you? Uh, you scored more goals than Kante. Yeah. I like Kante, I like the way he goes about his job, I like the way he goes about his work. Uh, obviously, Pog was a great player, but I just like the way Kante goes about his job and the way he goes about his, his work, really. So I like him. Kante, I'd say. Philip, Rashford, Sterling and Kane all off to a flying start this season. Who do you think will win the Golden Boots? Rashford. Well, Sterling for me. Well, I, think, I think the amount of chances that Man City are going to create, he's going to probably have more chances than most to uh, score the goals. Is there a league game this season you are particularly looking forward to? Uh, yes, I'm looking forward to the uh, Oldham games over Christmas. There's one Oldham game over Christmas, that's the one I'm looking forward to most. What? Why? It's local derby. It's the, it's the nearest one we've got, I think, to uh, us. So, any, any game you're particularly looking forward to for Salford this season? Bradford. I think you're right with all them local local derby. It's our closest one. We've not really had a, a derby game, have we? So, yeah. What's the target for Salford this season, Philip? Promotion. I did enjoy going to Wembley last year. Uh, I think that was really good. So, uh, go up. Uh, whether it's through the playoffs or automatic, will be special. Target? Anything different from you lads? No, I, I, I think getting in the playoffs would be nice, wouldn't it? Scholes it. Which current Premier League star would you have most wanted to play alongside and would have best fitted into the 99 team? David Silva, maybe, as a number 10. Instead of Yorkie? No, not instead of him, just as a player now that could play into that team. I think it'd be very similar as a Yorkie or a Coley, just as a number 10, somebody to play with. Butty, what is the best atmosphere you've ever experienced whilst playing together? Well, there's probably two you'd say. I would always say Galatasaray was always the, the most volatile, if, if you like, atmosphere. Um, used to love the derbies, Manchester derbies, obviously Manchester boys, all of us. Um, but then you, you look at what happened after the 99 final at Barcelona, so three probably there for the three different reasons. Which young players excite you most at Manchester United and who do you think has the biggest potential? I think I'm going to put that to Nicky because you work with him every day. Um, I think it's unfair to just get to get one. I think Gomez could could set a light this season and do really well. I think he's matured and got a lot stronger. But I think purely for the excitement and for the fans, I think um, Greenwood is going to be a real, real superstar if he keeps his feet on the ground, if he, he he's patient and he, he scores the goals that he can. He's both footed. He's a big, strong, powerful kid who can score goals. Very confident, and he's still very much a young boy who's likable. Philip, which players are you most excited to see playing in the Premier League this year? I think the young English ones are, are the ones, uh, I think the top six sides have been more English players played this weekend than, than probably ever before. So you're thinking about, we saw Mason Mount, Tammy Abraham, uh, Rashford, 
uh, Lingard. Uh, there's a lot of good young English talent now breaking through. Chelsea in particular have to play their young, young players. So I'd say the young English talent are the ones that I'm looking to see this year develop and, and get into the first team and get better experience. Scolzi, Arsenal have surprised a lot of people in the window. How will they get on? I think they'll be fighting for fourth place with with Chelsea and United probably, uh, possibly Tottenham as well. I think they have signed some good players. They didn't didn't play them all on Sunday in the first game, which was a little bit surprising. I thought you know you get them in as fast as you can and, and, and you play them, try and get them settled to the to the Premier League. So I think they'll do okay. I think they'll do a little bit better than last year, but I still fighting for fourth, but I don't think they'll finish fourth. For me, what's a good season for Frank Lampard and Chelsea this year? I think. It will be, I mean, I think getting the top four, I think that will be an outstanding achievement. Uh, obviously, the transfer ban, uh, Chelsea's a difficult club, and obviously, Frank's in his first job in the Premier League. So, I think that, that for me, top four, I mean, if we win the trophy as well, that will be an outstanding season. Uh, who do you think will be strong in League Two this season, Scholzy? In League Two? Yes. Um, Plymouth, I think, will be good. They've got probably five or six of the, of the Berry players from last year, who are a really good team. They've got the manager from there as well, which was very good. Um, who else is there? Hopefully Salford will be will be up there. Teams like Swindon, Rick Wellens has got a, a good side there. They've had a decent start as well, won the first two games. Oldham? No, Oldham will struggle, I think. Um, they've lost the first the first two league games. They've lost a lot of players from last season as well, and I think it'll be a, a difficult season. Bradford? Well, I think they're the favourites, aren't they, Bradford? They were you one Bradford, sorry. No, I didn't say Bradford. No, I think they're one of the favourites at the beginning. I, I think Plymouth will win it with, yeah. with what I saw at Bury last year. Very, I thought, were the best team. With their manager, they've got a great fan base, as, great fan base as well. So I think Plymouth will be okay. Nicky, what do you make of the standard League Two football so far? Seems like there's more teams trying to play. Yeah, I think um, from our game, our first two games, what we've seen, um, there is a level up from from last year. If you like, um, managers maybe have more of an idea of how they want to play with the players that they've got, as opposed to previous years. They might try and play a way that some of the players aren't capable of, quite frankly. Um, the, the standard of play is better than what it has been over the last couple of years for us. So, um, no, I'm not surprised because it's like um, Scully just said, there's a lot of good managers in that late league that know how to play football and it's just getting the, the players that can do it. And from what I've seen in the teams I've watched so far, there's quite a, a lot of good players that have dropped down levels and, and the standard's quite high.